Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna give you 14 tips on how to protect yourself during riots. Coming up. Hi everyone, this is Ernesto from Attaboy Cowboy, and on this channel, we give you health and wealth tips to help you be more successful. Now, I'm coming to you from Panama, Central America, and I saw a protest going on yesterday, and it reminded me of an experience I had a few years back when I was in Thailand. They had these huge riots, they had these political demonstrations, and they totally got out of hand. The whole city was rioting, and I got stuck there for several days. They weren't allowing flights to leave or enter the city because of the riots. So I had to quick learn some strategies to survive the riots and keep myself safe. So strategy number one, just stay indoors. You don't want to get confused or mixed up in all the chaos outside. Plus going outside, you expose yourself to getting hit with debris when people are burning or breaking windows or just doing all kinds of stuff, destroying cars and everything else. You don't want to get mixed up in all that and get hit by some flying debris. Also, when the police come in or the military, they start crowd control. So they just start spraying everybody with pepper gas, tear gas, uh, you know, all sorts of chemicals. You don't want to be exposed to that. So your best option is just to stay indoors and avoid all that stuff till everything kind of calms down. And just be aware that this stuff can take several days. So you just want to keep updating yourself, watching the news, listening to the radio, making sure that you're you know, aware of what's going on outside. Tip number two is don't wear clothes that attract attention. Don't wear bright clothes, don't wear logos, don't wear like black clothes or hoodies. That makes you look suspicious to the police or the military. You're going to attract attention to yourself. You also don't want to attract attention to yourself from people that are there doing bad things and they see an opportunity to rob someone that might be like a wealthy foreigner. So don't call attention to yourself. Wear clothes and blend in. Tip number three, just stay calm, be cool. Don't get mixed up in any of this stuff. Again, just keep up to date on what's happening and plan your escape. So while the mobs are out there fighting each other and doing whatever they're doing, you just stay cool in your room or hide out somewhere. And when, once you see an opening, find a way to get out of there. Tip number four, if you're driving, drive slowly so you don't attract attention. Don't speed around because then people think you're involved in something or you're trying to get, get involved or do something bad. So drive slowly and drive away from the mobs. So if you drive through all the mob, mobs are at, they may start rocking your car, breaking your windows, flip your car over, burn it, etc. So avoid the crowds at all costs. Tip number five, if you're on foot, avoid the problem areas. If you have luggage, just leave them behind. Only carry the essentials with you. Take your cell phone, take your identifications, your travel documents. If you have a little food and water, bring that with you. But other than that, just walk away from the mobs and leave your luggage. Because if you leave, if you carry luggage with you, again, it's going to weigh you down in case you need to run away from a, from something that's going on, or it also may make you a target from disreputable characters that may be mixed up in there. Remember, during riots, a lot of times people that are criminals and stuff take advantage to come out and start doing damage. Tip number six. If you see them play, spraying any kind of chemical or liquid or gas or anything, stay away from it. Avoid getting hit by that stuff. Whatever it is, it's not going to be good for you. Tip number seven, carry some toothpaste with you in case they release tear gas. You can get the toothpaste and you can smear a little bit under your eye and that helps negate some of the effects of the tear gas so that you can still see and you can, you can run away from whatever's going on. Otherwise, you're gonna start crying or tearing and you won't be able to see. You'll pretty much just be like this. Your eyes will be burning. You'll be stuck there. And then the police will come and beat you up and arrest you or whatever the case may be. So bring some toothpaste. That'll help with that. 
Tip number eight, if you have to walk through town or try to walk around where riots are at, bring a bag and fill it with either lemon juice or vinegar and put a handkerchief in it. Soak the handkerchief in the lemon juice or the vinegar and you can cover your face with it in case they're spraying some kind of gas out. And as it starts to dry out, you can dip it back in the bag and resaturate it. Again, that lemon juice or that vinegar helps negate some of the effects of those gases so you can still breathe and walk away from the disturbance. Tip number nine, bring a bag, like a Ziploc bag, and fill it with half water and half liquid anti-acid like Mylanta or something like that. And what you can do is if you're exposed to gas, like tear gas, and your eyes are burning, you can use that anti-acid liquid to rinse your eyes out. And that'll remove the, the gases or the pepper spray from your eyes. Tip number 10, if you wear contacts, take them off. The gases or pepper spray will get under those contacts and it'll just keep burning your eye. It's very painful, so don't use contacts, take them off. Use glasses. And if you have the option, use swim goggles. Those are even better. Or you can use like gas masks with goggles. That's even better, obviously, but you may not have access to those. So your best option is going to be swim goggles if you can get them or a gas mask, but definitely don't wear contacts. Tip number 11, in case you do get something in your eyes and they start to burn, don't touch them. It's a natural reaction. You're going to want to start rubbing them. That's the idea. They want you to rub them so you can rub the poison or the gas or the pepper spray into your eyes and cause more damage, cause yourself more pain. So don't do that. If you get hit with something, don't rub your eyes. That'll just spread and make it much worse. Tip number 12, carry an extra set of clothes wrapped in a plastic bag, in a backpack or in your pocket or however you can carry it. Carry an extra set of clothes in case you get hit with chemicals. Sometimes you get sprayed with chemicals and then it goes into your eyes, you clear it out of your eyes, and then just from you know moving around and touching yourself naturally, you, you reinfect your eyes again. So you want to bring an extra set of clothes that you can change in case you get your clothes full of some type of chemical. Tip number 13, if you have access, bring yourself a set of gloves, any kind of gloves, latex gloves, ski gloves, whatever you can get, dishwashing gloves. You don't want to get pepper spray on your hands. It burns your skin and it's very painful. So bring some gloves if you can. Now my last and favorite tip, Tip number 14 is don't wear sunblock or creams or lotions or anything like that or perfume. Anything like that that you apply to your skin works like glue. So when they're spraying pepper spray or any type of other gas, it's going to adhere to that lotion and it's going to just keep burning you longer and longer in your body. Whereas if you don't have anything on your skin, it's easier to wash it off. So don't wear any any creams, lotions, perfumes, anything like that. Some blocks during your riot. Okay, thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please comment below. From Central America, this is Ernesto from Attaboy Cowboy. Thank you.